Today, we are delving into an interesting and rather disturbing question, why would a narcissist copy you? This video is for you if you have ever found yourself in a scenario whereby someone seems to reflect your behavior, duplicate your personality, or even adopt your interests and you feel they may have narcissistic qualities. It could feel eerie or even as though they are trying to pilfers your life. Stick around then, if you have ever wondered what their mental state is when they begin to copy you. We will dissect it and work toward a clear answer. Dealing with a narcissist you could find some quite perplexing actions. They can first seem to be the ideal companion or partner. They seem to have much in common with you, mirror your ideals, and share your interests. Over time, though, it could begin to feel more like a conscious attempt to copy or duplicate you than like a coincidence. Although disturbing, this conduct is a strategy narcissists frequently employ for multiple purposes. Although at first it may not be evident, after you identify the pattern it is clear that their copying is about control and manipulation rather than admiration. Though they present a confident front, narcissists are frequently quite insecure. They often lack a strong sense of self, hence they seek for means to develop it among the individuals in their vicinity. When they meet someone like you, someone they regard as useful, successful, or admired, they grab onto your qualities because they want to absorb what makes you special. Among their means of doing this is imitation. Though it's not based on who they truly are, it lets them present a more enticing or forceful picture of themselves. Whether in a romantic, friendly, or professional connection, a narcissist may participate in mirroring at the start of one. Here they pick up your habits, hobbies, and even your gestures. If you enjoy a specific pastime, suddenly they also do. Should you have a particular style of dress or speech, they could start to follow it. At first, you could feel charmed believing you have so much in common or that they much respect you. But mirroring is typically a deliberate action taken by the narcissist to win your trust rapidly. They understand that people feel more at ease around those who share their values, Hence by copying you, they project themselves as the ideal companion or match. Still, this reflecting behavior is not sincere. It's not about really embracing your passions or knowing your own self. Rather, it's a means for the narcissist to get your respect and, more crucially, your control. Reflecting your personality back to you will help you to feel as though you have discovered someone who really knows you. Actually, they are manipulating you using your own identity as their weapon. The narcissist wants power over you, not truly want to be you. Their means of getting under your skin and convincing you they are on the same wavelength is imitation of you. Envy of you drives one of the reasons narcissists act in this way. Although on the surface they seem confident, narcissists often battle underlying fears. When they come across someone they respect, confidence, kindness, brilliance or simply just your manner, they could get quite envious. Rather than facing this jealousy or working on themselves, though, they choose to steal such traits by copying you. It's a means for them to increase their own self-esteem without having to labor on forging their own identity. Still, is it really about them yearning to steal your life? In fact, in a sense, yes. A narcissist copying you is trying to adopt parts of your identity since they feel inadequate in their own. They want to have what makes you special, not because they respect you in a healthy sense but rather because they regard you as someone they should be copying. Viewing relationships in transactional terms, what can this person provide for them? Narcissists should you possess traits they want for, they will endeavor to fit those traits into their own character. This is not sustainable. The fissures in their facade will finally reveal. The narcissist's mimicry might get more obvious and disruptive as the relationship develops. You could find that they are actively striving to outshine you in such domains, not only following your interests or hobbies. If you are well known for a certain ability, for instance, they may begin to duplicate that ability and then try to pass themselves as even better at it than you are. Here is where the competitiveness of the narcissist is useful. For them, imitation goes beyond simply matching oneself with you to include trying to surpass you. They desire to be better, hence if they can surpass you in your own performance, it satisfies their need for approval. Like at first they seem to be so helpful and in line with your interests, 
This conduct might make you feel as like you are in continual competition with them. The narcissist wants to minimize your sense of self by assuming yours and then surpassing you in it. This generates a power dynamic whereby you are left wondering about your own value while they are always in charge. Furthermore, lacking a strong sense of self, narcissists copy others. Many times, narcissists have an inadequately developed identity and a brittle ego. They seek for someone to copy as they are not at ease in their own skin. This is why you could find that a narcissist does not only copy you, they could copy multiple people in their life and adopt different identities depending on who they are surrounded with. They seem to be shape-shifting in search of an identity that will empower and reassure them. It is constantly erratic nevertheless as this identity is founded on imitation. This is the reason narcissists sometimes look erratic or even contradictory in their behavior. Depending on who they are trying to control or wow at the moment, they are always changing personalities. Apart from their lack of identity and jealousy, narcissists copy others to help them to shape the story. Copying you and presenting themselves as like-minded will help them control how others view both you and them. Should they be able to persuade others of their shared traits, they can damage your reputation and advance their own. Whether in a social group, at business, or even inside a family, this is particularly prevalent in circumstances wherever the narcissist is seeking influence. Presenting oneself as a mirror of you helps them to blur the lines separating your identity from theirs, thereby making it more difficult for others to perceive their actual nature. The fact that narcissistic imitation might feel as though one is trying to eliminate you is among the most unsettling features of it. Often trying to minimize the sense of uniqueness in the individuals around them, narcissists are very preoccupied with control and manipulation. They are absorbing your identity to the extent that it feels like they are attempting to be you, not only duplicating your behavior. Particularly if you have spent a lot of time with the narcissist and begin to feel as though you are losing your own sense of self, this may be quite distressing. This kind of psychological manipulation can cause uncertainty, anxiety, and confusion as well as make you doubt of who you really are. How then would you handle a narcissist copying you? The first step is that the conduct is manipulation, not anything else. The narcissist admires you in a healthy way, hence they are not copying you. To compete with you, increase their own self-esteem, and find control, they are copying you. Once you see this pattern, separating emotionally from their conduct gets simpler. Dealing with a narcissist, especially one who is copying you, boundaries are absolutely important. Should you discover that they are replicating your interests, activities, or even your style, you should avoid confronting them straightforwardly since this could cause defensiveness or escalation. Rather, give your own sense of self top priority. Keep doing the things that make you happy and fulfilled, but you should not feel compelled to compete with them. Narcissists feed on affirmation and rivalry. Hence, the less you interact with their games, the less power they have over you. If at all feasible, also help yourself distance yourself from the narcissist. Their imitation of your life will be more difficult the less access they have to it. Narcissists typically rely on close closeness to their targets in order to monitor and mimic their behavior, so physical or emotional distance can help them to break out from this trend. This could imply restricting your contacts with them or perhaps severing relations should their behavior turn too poisonous. Finally, after dealing with a narcissist, you have to reconstruct your own sense of self. Take time to reconnect with yourself outside of their influence since their mimicry and manipulation can leave you feeling exhausted and self-conscious. Spend time with others who encourage and support you, participate in joyful activities, and remind yourself that your individuality is unique. A narcissist cannot really take away who you are no matter how much they try to copy or steal from you. All right, everyone, that marks the end of our conversation today. This video perhaps clarifies why narcissists copy others and how one could guard oneself against their deceitful actions. Tell me in the comments below whether you have ever dealt with a narcissist who mimicked your life. I would be very interested to know. Remember to like, subscribe, and ring the alert bell to never overlook a future.